All right, Shalom. Want to begin this lesson by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, Waha Rakakwadas, which in the ancient Hebrew tongue would be the correct names of the Heavenly Father's beloved Son and the Holy Spirit. Also, want to give double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and honors to you brothers out there that is also laboring in his work. So, this sitting right here is going to be centered around the plagues that's set to befall this place, America. And one of the main plagues is going to come in the form of race wars. Because unbeknown to the majority and the masses of you people out there, primarily those of you who claim to build your foundation off the scriptures, one of the hurdles you're not able to get over, or stumbling blocks, if you will, is the fact that America is actually recorded in the Bible, man. And not only that, but the fate of America is found right here in the Holy Scriptures. And according to the prophecies concerning America, Babylon the Great, when World War III has ran its course, you know, reached its climax, reached its perfection, when the smoke settled and the dust clear, this place is going to be left totally desolate, man. All right? From a thermonuclear holocaust. But before all these things happen, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is pretty much going to torture this place, man. It's going to be a surgical, strategical, you know, a methodical strike against America. You know, the Lord is going to um, take this place out from the very fabric, man. America, as you know it, is not going to be the same in the uh, upcoming days, man. You know, in the near future. There's going to be famines. Hey, right now, <clears throat> it's a damn military helicopter hovering over, man. You know, that's the spirit. It's going to be martial law out here. It's going to be power outages. And it's going to be a major class war and a major race war, man. And you can see the tension is thick, man. You know, it's thick. And, and the tension is on an all-time high. All right? Now, there was a time where things had settled down, believe it or not, when you go back into the 70s and 80s. But around the early 90s, you know, when you had the riots out in L.A., you know, that stemmed from um, this guy Rodney King. You know, that incident, <clears throat> you know, even the O.J. trial, well, it was all spiritual. You know, they had the cameras, and they was waiting on the verdict. And when O.J. was found not guilty, you know, the cameras was on um, the so-called white people, and pretty much the air was let out of them, man. You know, to, to a man... They wanted to see O.J. found guilty. And when the cameras panned on the so-called Negroes and Latin tribes and Native Americans, they was happy to see O.J. get off. So that in itself showed you that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah was stirring up the, the uh, tension as it pertains uh, to, to, to race, man, you know? And it's sort of like if you go to a boxing match, you know, when the bell ring, both fighters come out swinging. Then when the bell ring, they go back to their corner. All right? And that, what happened, you know? But now that bell has rung again, and, and you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, um, and these so-called white people, is pretty much gearing up, you know, and the tension is at an all-time high, man. And this thing is going to only intensify, all right? Now, this is biblical prophecy. And the first scripture I want to get is um, found in the book of Matthew, the 24th chapter. In the third verse, And as he said upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming? And of the end of the world. Yes, so pretty much Matthew, the 24th chapter, is dedicated to the end of the world. You see? Now when you jump down to the 7th verse, it says, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Yes, so when you read the scripture at face value, and you see where it says, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, you would perceive it to be talking about these different skirmishes, that break out between these countries. Now, when it say kingdom against kingdom, yeah, that's what it's going into. But when it say nation against nation, this is dealing with 
different races of people. Now I got the definition for the word nations queued up <clears throat> in the blue letter. And we're going to see what it means when it say nation shall rise against nations. All right. So you see this Matthew, the 24th chapter and the seventh verse. We're going to go to the uh, definition for the word nations. And we're going to go straight to the point. It says the human family, a tribe, nation, people, group. See? So when the scriptures say, for nation shall rise against nation, it's pretty much saying families or tribes is going to rise against each other, man. Now, I got an article that I want to bring out real quick from the Huff Post. You know, that's the source. And it's centered around this broad Omarosa, all right, which she was pretty much a jump off for this guy Trump, you know. But now she's become disgruntled and she's scorned. And this is uh, the accusation she's making against Trump, all right. She says Trump wants a race war, <laughs> see? And everything is set up in the spirit because now Yahweh Bashimi Yahweh is bringing other sources out and different information to pretty much support what we've been saying for years, man. Because you people, you don't want to hearken to the words of the prophets. So now you got people from external avenues coming out and pretty much um, speaking the same thing we speaking, man. See? She said Trump wants a race war, all right? And, and this, this article just came out, I believe. Uh, matter of fact, this is the date, uh, the 19th, two days ago. And the spirit... You know, I had a while, you know, I was going to go into this, but you know how the spirit is. You know, I, it led me to, um, I was going into other lessons, but now I had a chance to go and touch on this topic, man. So <clears throat> it says he, he had his agenda, and that agenda did not include advancing and uniting the African-American community. All right? They got the video right there, and it says former White House aide Omarosa tore into her former boss Sunday calling President Donald Trump a racist and a performer who she believes wants to start a race war in this country, man. Hey, and, and, and I believe that, you know, through the spirit. And that's why, starting with Apostle Taha, we, we um, support Trump. <laughs> See? Why? Because this, this guy is, is all gas, no brakes, man. You know? This guy pretty much is hurrying and hastening the prophecies, man. And how about me? I was shot. Put this guy in office to do that. With this guy in office, he's stirring up the other nations. You see, the different nations, um, they feel some type of way about this guy. And ultimately, he's he's causing division right here in America, which that's biblical prophecy. Our Lord Yahweh Shah said, "Satan be divided against Satan." How? can his kingdom stand so this guy trump is set up to be that wedge you know but um let me read a little of this it says um speaking with reverend al sharpton on msnbc's politics nation said trump's claim during his presidential campaign that he would promote diversity was all just a ruse to get votes he was um disingenuous about his committed to commitment to diversity he could care less if african-american civil rights leaders anyone came to the table because he had his agenda and that agenda did not include advancing the uniting and uniting the african-american community or even putting any policies in place that he promised during the campaign she said he's a performer he wants to use people as props see it says, ask whether she believes that Trump is a racist. She answered, yes, Donald Trump is. I believe that he wants to start a race war in this country, she added, though did not elaborate on that point. Yeah, and that's, that's, I believe that, man. You see, why? Because it can be filtered through the scriptures. And the race wars that's going to take place here in America is biblical prophecy. All right? So for all you people who don't believe when we tell you, maybe you will believe when, when MSNBC 
you know, or this article right here touch on that, man. All right? But whether you believe it or not, it's going to happen. You see? So this is um, Second Ezra. <clears throat> Like Second Ezra, the uh, 15th chapter, and I start at the 14th verse. It says, "Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up a fight against another, and swords in their hands." Yes, yeah, so this is uh, a prophecy concerning here in America, man. One people is going to stand up and fight against another. And who is those people? Primarily Esau and Jacob, the so-called white man, versus you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You see? And in that day, a lot of Jake is going to get busy. They're going to take a lot of you so-called white people out, man. And there's going to be a lot of so-called white people to um, take out a lot of Jake. And it's not going to be nothing you can call the cops and the cops come and settle things down. It's going to be all out, man. The landscape, the very fabric of America is not going to be as you know it. All right? And it tells you that in the 16th verse. It says, For there shall be sedition among men and invade one another. Right? And when you really look at how Yahweh Bashim Shah set this thing up in the spirit, all these so-called black communities they're, they known as the inner city. Why is that? Because Esau pretty much live in, in the surrounding areas, you know, the suburbs. And they pretty much got Jake surrounded, man. That was strategically set up by Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. And these, these Edomites, they're going to invade you, you know. They're going to come into your neighborhoods on pickup trucks. Hey, and when you see Esau, they training, man. They getting ready for this race war. All right, they had their kids out on the gun range. Meanwhile, Jake is just partying bullshit, you see, watching reality TV, waiting on the next pair of Jordans to come out. But this is the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, all right? It's going to be a uh, judgment. It's going to begin at the house of Israel. And a lot of you, Jake, going to get took out in that day, man, all right? It says, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. Yes, yeah, so they're not going to... Um, care about the city councilman, the governor, the mayor. They're going to take uh, things into their own hand. They're going to take matters into their own hand. That's going to be the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. It says, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. See? So they're, going, they're not going to um, be worried about some damn cops, man. They're going to just roll up on you. You see? And the tension, you can see the tension at an all-time high. So for all you people out there who thought we was just racially motivated, you know, no, this is a spiritual thing, man. When we told you it was going to be race wars, we meant that because why? It could be filtered through the scriptures. And this is all biblical prophecy, man. And we in those times. This is fast approaching. All right? This this can break out at any time. But we know Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, he's a technician, man, you know? He, he's going to beautifully set this thing up. He's strategically setting all the pieces in places. And, and it's going to be masterfully done, man, the way Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to bring this thing to pass. So, yeah, I just wanted to go into that. Lord willing, it was edifying to the next time I say Shalom.